other rivers across the strait also will be flooding. All right, thanks, John. The severe weather's caused a number of area schools to delay classes and programs tomorrow or even close. You can check the latest on that list at WRIC.com. At this hour, city officials are monitoring the James River, which of course, as John mentioned, continues to rise. Our 8 News reporter Dax Gray is working the story. He joins us now live. Dax? Good evening with rem remnants of Tropical Storm Ida still raining, dumping all this rain in the central region has many worried about river levels here at the James River. I spoke to the city's public utility spokesperson, Angela Fountain, who says the city was preparing river flood walls way before this storm was even on radar. You know, we have taken very um, careful precautions uh, to make sure that the flood walls do, in fact, work. There's no fear that they won't work. Um, we made sure that we, we tested them, you know, earlier in the year um, just for occasions like this. We're very sure that everything is working. James River water levels are expected to crest in upcoming days, so only time will tell if the city's precautionary measures will help prevent any flooding in the Shaco Bottom and surrounding areas. So stay with 8 News with all your weather updates and your flash flood warnings. Reporting live in Richmond, I'm Dax Gray. Now back to Carrie in that very dry studio. <laughs> Thank you, Dax. Now, the weather is also affecting power lines. Check out this tree that is 